Okay, so I've heard a lot of people saying what they would like to see in Plasma 6 and as much as I do want 6 to be awesome and perfect, not everything can be fixed or implemented far from it. However, there is something very easy we can do, like very, very easy, and that's just changing defaults. So today I do want to throw at you a bit of a challenge. If you were a KD developer and you had literally no time to implement a new feature or a fix or a bug and you could only change the defaults, which defaults would you change for KD Plasma 6 specifically? It's not an easy question if you think about it, but I'll attempt at giving my personal and very debatable answer. As a way to give you a bit more freedom, I will also allow removing features along with changing defaults. I'll start with something extremely controversial and I will also cheat a little bit. The first thing I would personally do is to remove activities for various reasons. Now, it's not technically changing defaults, but as I said, I feel like at least removing the buttons to access activities is easy enough worst case scenario, but why would I do that? Personally, I do not feel like activities currently work. They are very buggy and reliable and I would prefer not to offer a feature rather than offer a very buggy and unreliable one. Every once in a while somebody proposes formally to remove activities and somebody else says no, instead of removing, let me fix them. And usually that leads nowhere because activities are super complex and fixing them would require a lot of effort. That said, currently there is some interest in fixing activities, though if I understood it correctly, it would be more like significantly rework how they work. There is discussion even happening these days and probably we'll talk even more about it during the KD Plasma Sprint in early March, M May early May, but I'm still a bit skeptical. I would like to be proven wrong though. So what's next? I would like to use, by default, the floating panel. If you follow my channel, you know that I recently finished a merge request that makes the panel defloat prettier and adds shadow to the panel, floating ones, which is nice and I think now it's nice enough and usable enough to be used as a default. This I think is especially true if you consider that the floatingness is adaptive, so the panel will Will look absolutely normal whenever a window is touching it. I know it's not something for everyone, but I do think that it could be worth it. Next up, I would also like dialogues to be floating, though I'm much less sure about this than the other stuff, especially if you consider that I do not have a fully finished merge request for, for this feature, but it's basically ready. I can promise that you will have that uh, in Plasma 6 as an option. There's actually a quite long history on the implementation of floating dialogues because because they always feel like a nice feature to add for those who wanted it, but there's been a lot of discussion on how this could be implemented and, and actually shown to the user. I actually have some early mockups made by the great designer of KDE Manual showing some possible indicators designs. The thing is, actually adding any kind of indicator to a floating dialogue, be it an arrow or anything else, is actually super complex, especially because it also has to deal with the transparency by default third-party themes. So when implementing this, I try to go for the easiest possible way, which is just to have floating dialogues without any indicator, and then we can see how it goes from there. And honestly, they're pretty, and I would use them by default, I said it. Now, I haven't decided how the UI should be to turn these things on or off, but I'm working on it. So yes, please tell me in the comments if you would use this feature, and if you would feel fine with having it enabled by default. With the amazing release of 5.25, a lot of colorful features were introduced, and they are seriously amazing, but they're also quite hidden into settings. I think it would be great to better expose them to the user, but I also think that we should just start using them by default. Take the accent color. Usually it's just blue and that's it. Blue is pretty, but you can change it manually, the accent color, and you can even make Plasma automatically choose it from the wallpaper. And that's the option I would go with by default. There's been lots of work to make sure that the accent color generator always produces good colors and now we should make use of that functionality I think. Then always talking colors we have the fact that we can now tint the header area of any window with the accent color. This is how it looks right now and even though yeah it's fine I don't think it's appropriate by default. However I did see lots of talk on how this could be improved and if the tinting was a bit better then why not. This could also 
be another way to make plasma prettier. However, before adding this one to my final list, I will have to wait until the option is improved a little bit. Then, of course, we have window tinting. That's amazing too. Basically, the whole window becomes tinted by a tiny amount with accent color. It allows windows to blend in just the right amount with the rest of the look and I don't know, it's just perfect. I would really suggest that you all enable this feature and tell me how strong you like your tinting. Just a little bit, a normal amount or a lot like me. Another thing that's very well hidden is the fact that you can add blur band context menus. This used to be quite buggy but I think most of those issues were fixed with time. And to be honest, why wouldn't you want to have blurry context menus? As a bit of context, I've spent my first year in KDE working on a patch which uh, seriously took a year or so to make KDE Plasma theme more blurry by default and it did land. If you have contrast effect enabled, you should see that the colors from your wallpaper get into dialogues and tint them in a pretty way, especially with a dark theme. So I would say Plasma is really modern here. Done that, I started advocating for adding blur to other places too. I asked for it on the header of applications, at least as an option, but apparently that's not very easy to implement at all. I also tried to make console a bit transparent and blurry by default, which was also rejected due to reasons that I completely forgot about. So now it's time for me to say, hey, what if we made context menus blurry by default, at least? Because apparently I'm the KD blur guy and I'm fine with that. Another thing I would love for KDE is to land the locally integrated menus on Breeze. Let me start off by saying that this will not happen for various reasons. There are some technical problems and such that won't allow this feature to be turned on by default and it's not quite a change of a toggle here, but this was actually already implemented by other developers, so it should be just a matter of upstreaming it, even though, again, that's not gonna happen. I feel like the locally integrated integrated menu saves some useful space from Windows and doesn't have big drawbacks, though that's clearly subjective. It's something that Unity did out of the box and I do think that it worked and I do think that a similar design could work for KD Plasma too. However, for this one I would really appreciate it if you have some feedback not to decide whether to upstream this feature or not, again that's not happening, but really I'm curious to see what you'll think of this one. Whilst we're talking about things that I would like to change, let me tell you about a feature that I would prefer not to change, but I do realize that the stronger forces are in play here, so it might indeed change. Single click by default. I think that opening folders and files with a single click is clearly the best way to do things and this double click to open is just a relict from the past that we should just get rid of as soon as possible because it's going away anyway. I'm going to make a wild prediction here. If KD switches to a double click to open folder and apps, then eventually and we're talking years here, like years in the future, we will be forced to switch back to single click because that's where everything is heading into, in my very subjective opinion. Oh, by the way, Plasma 6 would be a good time to change where we place applets, if we want to do so. As an example, I personally really like the idea of adding a simple separators to the left and right to the system tray, like this. Again, this is something super easy to implement and that would require basically zero developer time. Also, I shouldn't say this, but I do feel like the centering of the task manager and kickoff icon isn't that bad of an idea. The only reason why I would never support this change, even though I like it, is that it would make people say, oh, you're trying to copy Windows 11 now that Microsoft has decided to have a center task manager. I guess that KDE keeping it on the left is going to help distinguish the two desktops. It's weird that we have to do that given how wildly different we are from Windows 11, but hey, whatever floats your boat. I would also love a clock widget that's more powerful and shows you as an example the weather and allows you to create events. Given that this video is all about not requesting new features though, I will point out, I will point out that we 
we can achieve that by simply swapping our clock applet with the one made by Zeran, which is called Event Calendar. It's awesome and you should try it out and I wouldn't be opposed to the default calendar widget gaining some of its features. Lastly, let me put in another thing that's never, never happening, like ever. I would absolutely love for KDE to use the inactive blur plugin, which by the way is broken, broken on the very latest version of KDE Plasma, sadly enough, so that would have to be fixed before being actually able to upstream the functionality at all. The inactive blur plugin, if you haven't heard me ramble about it yet, and if so, wow, simply blurs your wallpaper whenever you focus any window. It creates a depth of field effect that I totally love, and if I were allowed to ask for more features, I would actually love for a proper depth of field functionality, pr probably as a KWIN effect, that blurs all windows below and above the selected one, as if you were looking at that window and there was a bokeh effect on the others. I think that it would actually help distinguish what's above, what's below, and what you're looking at. If you're arrived at this point of the video, then it means that you're completely fine with listening to me ramble about things for like 20 minutes or so it's been. So thank you for that, by the way. And thank you especially for all of these people that actually allow me to ramble on and on. This, people. And if you actually want to join the club, there is, you know, some benefits like uh, private podcast and uh, polls and private articles, these kind of things. You can just chip in something, help me actually bring the channel forward and make sure I don't end up on the street or something. I just continue contributing to KDE. This is kind of my only source of income. So yeah, <laughs> that's important. Of course, all of that was just my ramblings and things I would change. Now I would like to hear yours. Similarly to mine, it's likely that most of them will not be implemented in Plasma 6 or any version of Plasma because life is also a compromise sometimes, but I still think that voicing your opinions allow developers to see, you know, what people think of things and how they could be improved. It's useful and you should totally do it in a kind way and not too much. Th that was everything. See you.